Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial walkthrough for the LSP Ice Kissed Winter Photoshop Action Suite. This set contains 45 Photoshop actions in user-friendly order, um, suitable for use with Photoshop CS5 to CS6 and Creative Cloud. You can use these on both Mac and PC. So to begin with, I'm going to open up the actions here. You can see these are in grey editing mode. You can use the actions by clicking on them and hitting the play button down here but I much prefer to work in button mode so I'm going to come up here to the little lines and select button mode and you will see the actions are in colour coded workflow order you can simply click on them to play so I'm going to be editing this image here this little girl with the bunny she is perfect for a winter edit because of the hat and the coat um, but you can see there's more of an autumn tone to this image so I'm going to go right ahead and start up here with add winter to scene now I'm making sure I have a brush selected on 100% opacity, 25% flow, the brush is set to normal and I'm going to make sure it's white for painting on. If I want to paint any of the actions off I can simply switch to black to hide. So let's get started. I'm going to play the sharp add white winter scene. This is played out really quickly and I can simply start brushing here to add a beautiful winter tone. Now I don't really want to brush this onto the subject so I'm going to come back in a second and brush this off so I'm just adding this all over I think about that now I'm going to grab a black brush and I'm going to harden this brush up a little bit make the sides a bit smaller and I'm just going to take this off the subject what you do um, for your um, your own image depends on how the image looks so I've just taken some of that whiteness off the subject there so we can see before and after so we've already really winterized this set you can add some winter tones they will these will really cool down uh, the image so again I'm going to switch here to a white brush nice and soft and I can kind of add some cooler winter toning to certain areas if we want to these actions are non-destructive meaning if you don't like it or you want to change it you can simply turn it on or off or delete the layer to get rid of it. I'm going to add a misty fog overlay. This will add a lovely misty layer to the bottom of this image and where it's not a full portrait I think that will really work. You can slide the opacity up here if you want to as well with any of these effects. So now down to the brushes here, the winter retouch brushes. We have darken winter scene, lift the winter scene, soft blur blend, contrast paint, the eyes retouch workflow skin retouch workflow, winter skin tone, rescue blacks and rescue whites. So let's play the dark and winter sinks. I'd like to add a little bit of darkness. So I'm just going to bring the brush up a little bit and reset there. So if we go before and after there, you can see a little bit of darkness has been added. I can always switch to a black brush to take this off if I want to and again non-destructive you can turn this on or off. I think I'm going to play the dark cobalt wash here. You can try all these out, you can play them, see if it works. Again you can choose a black brush to take off the skin or any other areas you do not wish this to show. I may take the opacity on that just to add a little bit of blue in there. Now I'm going to work on the skin tones, so I'm going to play the skin retouch workflow. This sets up a multitude of layers for you to go through painting on with the skin um, as you see fit. Again, they are non-destructive, so I'm going to open the group here. And you can see we have soft skin, sharpen the details, take down reds, yellows and blues, rosy cheeks, you can also use this for the tip of the nose, brighten up, darken down, warm and cool. So I'm going to come in here to the skin, I'm just going to zoom in and grab a brush white brush make this a little bit smaller and I'm just going to soften down the skin here sharpen the details you can use this around the eyes those little teeth perhaps crisp the hair up and maybe on the bunny take down the reds I don't need to do that or the yellows or the blues well, I might take the blues down a little around the eyes here and the nose perhaps on bunny too Rosy cheeks, I'm going to add a little bit of rosiness. You can see these actions are very gentle because you don't want to over edit your subject. A little bit to the nose, perhaps. Brighten up, we can brighten up the face a touch. 
darken down. I'm going to zoom out and see if there's any areas here that I need to darken down. I don't think there is really. We could perhaps darken here, perhaps a little on the hat. Warm up. Um, I don't think this image person needs warming at the moment. So you can see there before and after. We have some really uh, kind of more portrait skin tones going on there. I'm going to play contrast paint and add a little bit of contrast to the face here. Just to start making the subject really pop. Okay, and now I'm going to play the eyes retouch workflow. I'm going to zoom back in again for this one and just really make those eyes pop a little bit. So I'm going to grab a white brush, nice and small, open the eye retouch workflow, give these irises a little bit of colour pop here, brighten up, and sharpen up these lashes. This will really help to bring the attention back into those eyes. So we can see before and after. And now for the fun part, I'm going to add some snow. So these add still snow section here. You also have the snow video, uh, which I'm sure you're looking forward to playing with. But for now, I'm just going to add a still snow layer. So let's go for the fine snow. You don't need to use any overlays or um, specific snow brushes for this one. You simply play it out. Photoshop figures the layer out for you and you can use a white brush to paint on. So we can paint this snow on here. I might use a little medium snow. You can layer these up however you want to. And bring this in front of the subject a little perhaps. Okay, so we have before and after winterizing that image there. You can use a black brush um, to paint the snow off any areas you don't want this to show. For example like that. I'm just turning these layers on or off. You can see we still have our background layer intact here. <laughs> Excuse that sound, that was my squeaky chair. And then to finish off we can add contrast here turn this down or up depending. We can add a vignette. You can use a black brush to paint this off any areas you don't want it to show. For example if it darkens a little too much. You also have Facebook frame resize so if you are uh, wanting to create a version for Facebook you can play this and it will create a whole new image for you meaning you don't save accidentally over your original. So the image is now resized for Facebook here. There's a frame and another frame and you can go ahead, add your watermark and save that. So back to the original here. One more time, before and after. You can come up and you can add, um, you can add more of these adjust winter scenes if you wanted to. For example, amethyst iced might look really nice on this one. And then again we can turn that one up or down depending. So that is the LSP Ice Kiss Winter Photoshop Action Suite, 45 actions in workflow order. Please watch the next videos if you'd like to know how to add the snow video and uh, the moving snow. I'm going to be working on this image in the next video to show you how to do that. This is available at www.lsp-actions.com.